All right. So, Half-Life Source, everyone's least favorite version of regular old Half-Life. I don't know why I'm putting myself through this. Um, but that's just, that's just what I'm doing. I don't usually like playing throughout. I don't really like Half-Life Source. No one really does. But that is what is being done today. Let's see. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Okay. Start a new game. I'm sure we'll start at the very beginning. I don't I'm not doing the training room. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This is just this regular old half life source too. For the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility Oh no. That's no good. That's more broken than that should be. AM. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Black Mesa compound no. is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Oh. <laughs> no, this you're kidding me, right? Wait, no. The game's more broken than that should be. How is that even possible? I didn't... Okay, no. Uh, hang on a second. Uh... That's not supposed to happen. Okay, um... I'm gonna... Just check my file- my Half-Life Source files right now. Because that's- that's not supposed to happen. I know that Black Mesa- or Half-Life Source is like, you know, it's broken. That's its whole- that's the only thing it really has going for it. But that's- What is all of this? Okay, wait. I think I see. Uh, that's why. Because I have all this in my custom folder that I don't need to have in here. I'll just shove that into a zip file real quick and then delete the folder. Apparently, I did that in January. I have no memory of doing that, but okay. Good to know that I've manage to um <sighs> dude okay that's that's great good to know that this is working in my favor i <sighs> Cannot believe that. Oh my god. That's gonna take too long. I'll just delete the folder because I'd rather not. It's like, ten, it's, oh my god. 17,000 things in this custom folder. Cool. Let me reopen Half-Life Source. This isn't my first time playing Half-Life Source. So let's, let's try that again. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Okay, there we go. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. 
current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area, this room has so much different lighting in regular Half-Life, it's orange. But then they're like, what if we made it blue? Area nine. Thanks, and Valve. A high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station. <sighs> I should have just started at anomalous materials because I forget how long the train ride actually is. Further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Let me just tab out for a second just to make sure that... Okay. Oh, you know, I'm already here. There's no point in starting it at anomalous materials when I'm already on the train ride. It, 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 it's close to being done, I think. Not entirely sure. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high security... Uh... Position... I, okay, there we go. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or <laughs> Idiots locked out. Make a valuable Imagine. To the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity employer. See, there's one thing I don't quite understand about Half-Life Source. The whole thing with it, right? The whole idea was that, oh, it's like, um... A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel... Just to show how easy it would be to port over your mods from Gold Source to Source, but... Continued employment considering you have to, like... You have to completely change how your textures are. You have to import all of them and then you have to also then mess with the scaling on all your world textures because source only allows for textures that are um a, a power of two of some sort not only that but then you also have to recompile your all of your models And then for like world textures, you have to go through each each tech each VMT file, and it's insane. Who would want to do that? Stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, 
Be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe, safe and, and productive, productive day. day. Looks like you're running late. Looks like you're running late. Man, they also messed up the chrome shaders. Thanks, Valve. Okay, now we're actually in the game. For a change? Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages. Oh my God, hey, that are you doing? Come on, Gordon. You trying to get me into trouble? I've played Half-Life One so many times, but I wanted to play Half-Life Source because it's the funny. Good morning, Gordon. Big day today. Morning. The sample was just delivered to the test chamber. Well, this guy doesn't say anything because he's a meanie. G Man. Barney. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? My God, what are you doing? And stop fucking with the microwave. Let's go gaming. And time for all the audio to immediately go away when you pass through the level trigger. Which is honestly good because I don't want to have to hear the stupid log on the the. Nope. I love jumping down the ladder because I don't feel like taking the elevator. Oh, oh dear. Oh, okay, okay. Well. It's fun how you can easily die before you even get to the actual game. I think that's just funny. You have to be a special kind of stupid to, like, fail at that. God, bee hopping is so much more difficult than this. <laughs> it's possible to do it in Source. Probably capped, but... Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the sample they made the this guy chamber. not the, the Kleiner one, right or the what Walter one. The Trader is very concerned when we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. We're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to be this in the first place. I love how bright this is. It's great. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet, and potentially the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you could say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go, go ahead. ahead. Let's let him in now. Ah, 
This area, where they kind of messed up the lighting on this. This is a little bit brighter than it should be. At least I remember it looking a little bit brighter. Still. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the antenna spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. To this day, I still don't know what the anti-mass spectrometer actually is doing. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please, work as quickly as you can. We have capacitors to 1.05%. Oh, uh, it's probably not a problem, uh, probably, but I'm showing the smallest frequency. Well, no, no, it's well, well within acceptable bounds again. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the shampoo is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you any moment now. Look to the delivery system for your special. So I can't... One thing they kind of fix. It doesn't... The way that these pushables work in... In this game, don't... I can't Get ram it in and out like I would be able to. Because of source. It's not. 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 Ah, the Vortigons that drop in. Oh my god. Insane. We love this area. Head crab. Oh my god. What are these things? Oh, they're weird. They're standing there menacingly. And now we're in the game. And this guy gets to live, but I don't care, I'll just jump past. are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Yes. I kind of wish they had brought over the suit zoom feature from Half-Life 2 into this, but they didn't. It's kind of lame. But oh well. I've been hit with one. I always, I, I never time that right. Okay, head grab. Laser. And this guy's dead. A 
Okay. There's like batteries or whatnot that go that end up down there from that. Yeah, the one battery. That says 27. I can't believe it. I want the crowbar. Or the pistol. Like, I know it's like, oh yeah, whatever. Save the guy, but like, I want to I wanna be able to shoot things. Okay. I don't have enough ammo to like, actually use this yet. I'll take that, thanks. Wow, can't even get. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know when I'll stop. Oh, they followed me. Hmm. Random lag spike. Textures are so small, I can probably put this back on just regular high. I can just kill this guy. Why was the sound so delayed on that? <laughs> we got a replay of that. I'll save you. I'll let him live. Uh, please don't tell me I'm stuck out here. Fine, I'll kill this guy. No, stay back. Gordon! Ah! God dang, this game's broken. Stay back, Gordon! Ah! Okay. I no longer care. Ha! <laughs> idiot died. I don't- <laughs> Don't care, this guy's dead, he's already dead. Now I was playing regular Half-Life earlier. And I was... I was, uh, Blast Pit? And... The Half-Lives are so much... They're, they're a lot harder, that's not the sound that... Okay, I'm just gonna hit it with the sound, uh, S and D, restart it. Just... Yeah. You can tell that the, uh, certain... Things about this game... Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm honestly surprised that he didn't die. Freeman. Who would have thought you'd still be alive? Lead the way. At least the AI for, um... I'll wait right here.
Let's go. Keep getting weird frame drops. I don't know why, but. I'm slowing you down, am I? This guy would be a lot better here. He has a grenade because for some reason they give you three grenade entities, even though you only actually can pick up two of them. Oh, I was paying attention. Don't care. Man, this water looks more garbage than I remember it looking. Dude, seriously? Okay, what is going on with my game? Uh, I will be right back. I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with my game and why my frames keep dying so Okay, I, I don't know what's going on, but, um, hello there. So I'll take that. It's time for my favorite, uh, head crab baseball. Wow, cool. That was sad. jump over me and or they don't even hit me what I, okay that's the time they just miss no 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 no, no please I, I beg for mercy please oh god ah Jeez, there's so many of them okay i'm just gonna There's so many of them. I could just hit them with one of these. A grenade. I can't. I should stop trying to throw grenades. They ne those never work for me. Not even in this game. Alright. Uh oh. I can't believe I actually died to that. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Nope. <laughs> Alright. Around because oh. I don't even know if it's if it's just because I'm streaming or if it's the game itself. Okay, this I can hit. This this one I can hit. There we go. <laughs> See, I I can hit my grenade throws sometimes. <laughs> hang on, hang on a second. I forgot to have my on-screen chat box and whatnot enabled because I was doing something in OBS earlier. So 
forgot to keep those enabled on the actual streaming part. That's my bad. Ah, oh, this part- I remember you thinking this part sucked back then. It's actually really easy. You just have to go forward. And don't jump. Cause then, you won't... Do stupid things like that. What the f- Okay. Cool. So... You, you missed what I was saying earlier because you weren't here, but Half-Life Source is the more bugged version of regular Half-Life. Um, here's an example. If I... Wait, is that... Oh no, that's a Half-Life 1 thing? I thought that was a Half-Life Source thing. Or if I... St if I... Okay. That's a Half-Life Source thing, I guess? Or Half-Life 1 thing? Did I break the level trigger? I did. <laughs> Let's save. I'm gonna try and do it. If I can't do it on this... They must have patched it then. Okay, so that's a regular Half-Life thing, not a Half-Life Source thing. So, you know, normally you go in the elevator and then it does this, right? Um, and then you see the scientist, the, there's the scripted sequence where he gets pulled into the ceiling and whatnot. Okay, cool. Um, the bug in regular Half-Life... Hello there, Gordon. If I'd known it was you, I'd have let you in. Everyone's heading for the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. Okay. Basically, the bug is that, like, you would, um... You still say there's nothing to chaos theory? Yeah, everything's, like, really shiny and, like, it, like I don't know why. And, you know, the original game was made in 1998. And they ported it to Source and didn't actually change how any of the models looked. Unlike what they did with Counter-Strike Source, where they actually, like, made it look good. So you get this weird mix of, um, 2004 graphics with 1998 graphics, and it's great! Doesn't look like garbage at all. Um, actually, you know what? Just real quick. I'm going to try and see if I can show the the bug I was just talking about in regular Half-Life. Cuz it's it's really stupid. Okay, cool. So, map scene A1 I think is what I want. This is something, I don't have an HEV suit, I just realized. I'm not playing through all this. Map C1, A2. Map C, C1, A1, D. Alright, good enough. Yep, this is exactly where I need to be right now. Because, you know, you just saw me play this part in Half-Life Source, so you'll see me play here where the things don't move, so you literally can just hold W and then that cool because physics were different then so here's that bug i was talking about oh jesus i almost did the same thing so said bug if you when you go up to the elevator door you can kind of you can press the button and stay right outside the door and the level low trigger will still work and this scientist doesn't do the thing, we can still hear the elevator and whatnot go, but the scientist is just standing here now. And like, there's nothing that causes him to go up there now, because I've yeah, broken the script and sequence. I'll stay here. So he doesn't get dragged up. So now he'll die. 
Just I just wanted to show off that funny. Yeah, I thought that was also in Half Life Source, but they actually, for as how for how broken Half Life Source is. Okay, come on. Home run, baby, let's go. Ow, what? The box hurt me. What is this? No, come back. Please. That way I'm not just talking to myself. I'm gonna say that these little creatures are terrifying, but you had no issue with the creatures that were in... I'm, I'm redoing that. That was just sad. No. Okay, there we go. Now he can unlock the door. Oh, I didn't know if you were joking. I'm sorry. He didn't get pushed by the door this time. Let's go. Okay, I'll take that. I don't know if we should go any further. I should bring this guy with me because the AI is actually slightly better in this game. Only slightly. They can at least walk forward. Which is something the the normal ones can't do. I wonder why this door is locked. Okay, I'll secure this area. You stay there. We'll kill that. Let me. Okay, well that scientist is dead. Yep, he is very dead. More shotgun. Let's go. More pistol. Let's get the hell out of here. Listen, you want to see how easy I take them out? I literally just have to smack them once with the crowbar, and they're dead. They're that weak. Where did the security guard go? See you later. Okay, I'll cover you. Please, just walk. I wasn't even looking at him and I still got him. That's awesome. I love this game. Yeah. Cool. He turns off the lights. He just ran forwards. What is this guy doing? What is bro cooking? I don't even want to know what's in that vent. Oh, we got these guys again. These stupid creatures, except now they're in lower quality. What is bro shooting at? They are shooting at each other. Okay, walk please. Go somewhere so I can... Do that. I'm not so sure I want to go to the surface. What if the world finds out what we were doing down here? That's great and all, but I don't care. Target range time is gonna pay off today. That's great. Okay, let's go. There'll be another guy right here. And then two more over here. I can just do that. 
got it. I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived, and they're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. Yeah, this is what, what uh, sort of what that one voice that I do. That, that that one voice that I do is kind of based on the scientist voices. The one that's for those like safety pin characters. Yeah, that's what that's what this it's based on the scientist voices from Half Life One. It's great. How accurate it is to the actual voices, I'm not sure, but no, I cooked that grenade for too long. Never mind. No, I didn't. Let's go. That was perfect. Never mind, no it was not. Oh yeah, in Half-Life Soros, when a character's in pain, they scream and grunt forever. So you're just gonna hear that constantly. What the hell are you doing down here? Get topside! I hear troops are coming in to save us. Okay, we might live. I have three security guards just all following me around. I think that's awesome. Man, enemies go down so easily in this game. I forget. I for, I kind of forget about that. Like. I one-shot the Vortigons with a shotgun. In regular Half-Life, it takes like at least two, maybe three shots. That's insane. Okay, one of these guys is gonna go down eventually to a head crab, and I'm not about that way. So. They're just falling from the ceiling! Where are they coming from? Don't just stand there, shoot them! Oh. My god. Gray. You seeing this? They- They all just- Okay, no. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't know what I just witnessed. Is they just stood there? There's like three head crabs actively attacking them and then just standing there. Just like what are you doing? Now I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. So, this one, I know I'm not gonna miss this. <laughs> Man, I am just terrible today. My aim. Okay, I'm just gonna let leave them all out here. Because this part's, like, really easy. And they, I have to go through, through a vent, so they can't follow me into the vent. Okay, why are you such being such a pain? Oh my god. Hi, Twig. Welcome. Welcome to my own hell. Is, is, the, is the game too loud? I don't know. I don't know if it's too loud or not. Because the ambient music is going nuts right now. This guy's stuck here. Headcrabs are just ruthless right now. No, I don't have to. Let's go. Because of the reflections, I don't even need to use my flashlight in most of the vents. That's that's a little insane. I love this. I love how broken this game is. 
This is as Gabe Newell intended. Dang it! I thought I'd be able to hit him without taking damage. Rip. But hey, don't count on the cavalry finding us down here. Oh my god, what is happening? Why does he why did he run down here? Where's this guy going? Okay. I'm gonna go grab those security guards from over here. They're still just standing here, screaming in pain. Cool, they're actually following me. Never mind, no they're not. What are they stuck on? How did he get on the table? Is there a way for him to get off? Is he stuck there forever? What the f- I'll stay here he and this No. How did bro get on here? That's how. I love how broken this game is sometimes. Roger that. Let's run Let's like hell. Out of here. With my brains and your brawn, we'll make an excellent team. Okay, there they are. Hey, did you hear something? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> they just all scream in pain. <laughs> they all- they- they both just at the same time! <laughs> G-Man. He's real. Well, Gordon, I see your new HEV suit is, um... I don't know what I'm saying. I started saying a, G a Kleiner line instead of a- Bro has the push of a lifetime. Right. Oh, that guy just died. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I don't have. Okay, guys, move. Please. Get out of the way. Okay. And then I jump. Can't hold on much longer. Yeah, this guy falls to his death. It's funny. But what if I just... Yeah, there we go. It's funny seeing their ragdolls as they just kind of, like, flop. No. <laughs> Can't get up the ladder. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> This part's funny. For God's sake, open the silo <laughs> Let me just skip the whole chapter real quick. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Okay, so you're not supposed to be able to get into this room, but if you smack the scientist, you can just skip the whole chapter. Oh yeah, there's a guy... In an, in an old room. Isn't that right? Now look, if anyone can end this catastrophe, it's the science team in the Lambda complex at the opposite end of the base. With the transit system out, I couldn't tell you how to get there. But there's an old decommissioned rail system somewhere through here, beyond the silo complex. If you can make it through the rocket test labs, you might be able to worm your way through the old tunnels to track down whatever's left of the Lambda team. You can trust them. You can trust all of us. Good luck. Cool, okay, so basically... What's, what, what happened there? The game's broken. This game is severely janky, but also the way the game works is basically you, this entire chapter you basically go in one big circle and you get in this room and you push this button and these doors open. Um, but you, there's a glitch and this even occurs in Half-Life 1, but it's much harder to pull off there. You have to hit the scientist and he'll run over here and just open the door. And you can just skip the entire chapter and not have to do that. Um, just for the sake of I 
don't want to play through this entire chapter. I'm going to do the funny, but I will run over here and grab the gun. Because I really like this gun, and I'm not going to go without it. Why play the game when I can just do the funny speedrunner trick? Okay, there's zero way that I miss this, because it's right there. See? This is what I was playing earlier in the spare time on regular Half-Life. Oh yeah, there's that guy. Forgot I, I forgot about him last time, too. That's great. Oh yeah, I love how there's a crowbar in here. Like, like you can pick it up. Like, no, you can't. You already have one. Like, what the... What were they thinking? What were they cooking? Guys. <laughs> this part's fun. Just in case you dropped your- Twig, shut up! <laughs> it's like, how am I gonna miss- like, it's put there for such a stupid reason, like, how you literally- there's like, it's impossible for you to miss the crowbar at the start of the game. So I'm gonna run these guys over, you know, Elbozo. This is where things get funny. That was bad. I'm usually better at that than that. Oh. Cool. Decoration. It's stupid. They could have put anything else there, like a wrench maybe? That would make a little bit more sense. No, put a crowbar. Okay. I like how there's like batteries and health kits over there, like you're not even going to be able to get to that. That's like... <laughs> Why? Thanks, Valve. Thanks for showing how important those are. <laughs> Let's go! Got him. There'll be a guy right outside this door. <laughs> not anymore, there's not. Fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damned thing before it grows any larger. Stop! That guy's dead. I didn't even do anything to him. Hey, Gray, watch this. It's funny. This is an actual enemy you have to fight. It's kind of like a little boss fight. Um, yeah, it's a giant tentacle monster. Uh, it's great. And he's not dying. This is actually really funny to watch is he's just shoot it but i can still get damaged i think right no it, it doesn't do any damage this game is so bugged i love it i can just kind of walk casually around the creature I should probably play regular Half-Life at some point so you can get a better idea of what this game actually is and not this broken, uh, wannabe version of it, but you know. There's, some, there's two guys out here. See, I do hit my grenades. 
only like 37% of the time, but hey. It's better than no times. Load level trigger right there. Cool. What? How is he not dead? He's literally standing right on top of the grenade. Ah, oh, God. Okay, it's fine. And then the big ceiling fan. Big floor fan. Hey, look, a head crab. Not anymore. That door's not supposed to be open yet. Okay. Hey, hey, creatures, I don't care. I'm not gonna fight all you. This guy's still shooting. I, I, how did they mess this part up so badly? Like, you're supposed to strategize and try to, like, sneak around all the things and whatnot, but nope, you can just avoid, you can just walk right into them and not actually have to deal with it. <laughs> Half-Life Source is a flawless game, so true. Oh yeah, like the the barnacles whose tongues don't actually appear right away. Uh, <laughs> I figured out a pretty flawless way to avoid how this entire section is. And I'll have to deal with taking fall damage, so I take the ladder down and when I come back up... Oh, Half-Life Deathmatch Source is such a broken mess. I, I played I played that on stream once. I was playing regular Half-Life and I was just Um I ended up playing some Deathmatch Source at the end and it was I hope no one expects me to start up the generator. Then he went down there and never came back. Okay. <laughs> I was playing, I, yeah, I had played it on stream, and it was just an absolute, like, mess. I didn't re- I, I forgot how broken it was. Oh, let's go. This is my hiding spot, and I'm not moving until the situation is drastically improved. Now go away, and don't tell anyone I'm here. Yeah, there's like a guy down there or something. Yeah, he's like kind of spitting at me, but I do not care. Excellent. Someone has restored all power. We'll have the engine up again in no time. Oh. All right, so what I do? Oh, the rat. I <laughs> I'm like fully convinced that Half-Life Deathmatch Source was made in like a single afternoon and they didn't actually care what the ragdoll physics were like. No, oh, God damn it. Flawless game. Let's go. I feel like they were like, okay, we have this we have this game. We're gonna we made we made Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, but we haven't made Half-Life 1 Deathmatch on the Source engine since we have Half-Life Source. So let's do it. And they make it the buggiest version possible. Where the entities double spawn every single time. It's great. Is that seriously the only reason why they're broken? Is because they're posed incorrectly?
Yeah, this guy will die. Eventually. And then I hit him with this. It... Did I not... I have to go back down there. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't press the oxy button. <laughs> no, for real, dog. I gotta go back down there. Oh, let's not forget that Half-Life Source didn't have HD models on when it was made, and then when someone had suggested, hey, you should add HD models, they linked a Game Banana link, and now forever are there modified versions of the HD models in Half-Life Source. It's even funnier that initially when they added it, it had the textures from the pack too. So there were HD world textures that aren't official in Half Life Source. <laughs> Major lacerations detected. Quite possibly has to be one of the dumbest things ever. Okay, now I can launch a stupid rocket. I wonder if I can do it from out here. No, you can't. That would be that would have been funny though. He is still going. We're gonna watch as this guy eviscerates. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, I can stand up here and not get blasted backwards. That's funny. Woo, I get the best weapon in the game. That's a lie. There's better weapons on the revolver. Look at these quake textures. I'm like, these look so much like quake textures, it's not even funny. Cool. Nope. You know, if Black Mesa didn't exist, I would want to make sort of a remake of Half-Life 1 on the Source engine that probably would more accurately follow how the level design is, because my major issue with Black Mesa is it has really garbage level design. I don't like- I don't like a lot of things with Black Mesa. I don't like the texture design, level design. <laughs> the way the scientist models look because the, what they did was really stupid and formatted all faces to fit the same mesh. I hate that they do that. I, you know what? No. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't gonna let this happen to me. I ain't. Oh, this is actually worse. Uh. <laughs> um... Am I stuck here? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna just, like, quickly do this chapter. I don't want to be in this chapter any any longer than I have to be, so... That's great. Oh yeah, let me, yeah, let me look. Let's see. Let's see how messed up these were. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, that's that's bad. <laughs> how did they do that? How did how do they manage to do that? Hold on, let me let me uh, figure out how to. Let's see, browser source, yeah. Add source, just so, just so, you, just so you can see this. Oh, what? no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, window capture, that should work. Window. Uh. Here you go. This is this is what this is what it used to be. And then this is And this is the fixed version. This is for Barney uh Twig since <laughs> What? How does this happen? Like genuinely. What <laughs> This is a great physics collision i this 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 is just further proof that they made this in a day how what the how did this happen how does this happen genuinely okay back to the game Watch as these Vortigons kill themselves. Um, awesome door, guys. Cool. I, no, I fell in the toxic waste. Are you kidding me? Good enough. I'll take those. Right in the pool he goes. Bro, die. How many times I gotta shoot you, dude? Jesus. This area is fun. Blood loss detected. Who cares about blood loss when there's a med station right here? I'll take that. And what the scallop? Wow, that did nothing. There's another guy. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Seek, Seek these nuts. Warning. Vital signs critical. Oh. I might be screwed here. Oh. You got 
God, please, just let me live. Just let me live. I just wanna live. Cool, awesome, epic. One of these fans is working. I'll yeah, so I'll just do this to skip elevator because I love watching them read. They put me back here. Cool, now I gotta break all those crates again to get whatever health I got. That's fun. I didn't think that was gonna do any damage to me, but here we are. Okay, so now we'll drop down. What is that noise? I've only ever heard that weird sound. Come on, jump, jump at me please, thank you. actually have to do is go down here, down this, and get bitten by all these leeches, because for some reason Black Mesa has leech infested waters in their facility. I went too far up. Generator moment, let's go. Leaves. They're gonna trip their own wires. And this is why I love this game. And the... the... Gun is stuck in the wall. Oh, I looked away. Well, I guess I'll just go around to get up. Going up, let's go. It's a grenade. I'm just as bad as aiming as I am. Don't care about your stupid head grabs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, 
I'll just run back this way. guys over here. Ugh. No. Hey. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm scared. What killed me? This guy to chase me. Yep, you gotta get the big gargantua. Uh. Oh dear. I could just, I could have skipped the whole chapter and just used the trip mines to climb over the wall. That would have taken too much time and, um, yeah, I could still do that, but no. Ow, I'm getting killed by the truck. This is the part that annoys me, I have to go all the way back up here. Do that. Now I have to, because I decided to do stupid, I have to go all the way back up again. Oh wait, there's an HEV charger. I'll do this. Finish this chapter real quick, and then that's where I'm gonna get off. Because I do not want to be sitting here playing through Honor Rail at 10:30 at night. You know, I'd really rather not do that. Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientist pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this old rail system up to some kind of satellite, satellite delivery, delivery rocket. rocket. I don't know oh, where it is exactly, and the old guy was so worried about getting, getting out of here your alive, he didn't, didn't tell me. Main thing is, the military aborted the launch, so when you do find the rocket, you'll have to get up to the control room and launch it yourself. He said something about a Lambda team needing the satellite in orbit if they were ever going to clean up this mess. Okay, thanks, Barney. Let's greet me in. Oh, no, no, I'm not going out like this. I, no, I get a redo there. Freeman, I've been waiting for you. One of your scientists pals said to give you a message. You're supposed to take this rail system up to some kind of satellite delivery box. Okay. And this shall be where I stop for tonight. Um, definitely fun. 
very enjoyable. Um, Half-Life Source is such a nightmare of a game, I don't know why. The only reason people, like, yeah, the only purpose it serves nowadays is for content for Gmod, because, yeah, that's really it. That's really all I can say about Half-Life Source. I'll probably play it again at some point. Maybe I'll try to finish it. I don't know. I just want something fun to do. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. See ya.